for latest updates subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon chapter 3 of the customs act chapter 3 contains four sections section 7 section 8 section 9 and section 10 it reads as appointment of custom ports airports warehousing stations etc this the importance of this section is that it defines the physical infrastructure that is going to be used for processing of imported goods and export goods the four sections in this chapter are section 7 appointment of customs ports airports etc section 8 power to approve landing places and specify limits of custom area section 9 which has presently been deleted and section 10 appointment of boarding stations So when you look at this chapter it talks about appointment of the place it talks about landing it talks about boarding let us see each of these sections in detail section 7 talks about appointment of custom ports airports etc the board may by notification in the official gazette appoint so the proper officer in section 7 is the board the ports and airports which alone shall be customs ports or customs airports for unloading of imported goods and loading of export goods or any class of such goods it further goes that the place which alone shall be inland container depots or air freight stations for the unloading of imported goods the loading of export goods or any class of such goods section 7b talks about the places which alone shall be land custom stations for clearance of goods imported or exported by land or inland water or any class of such goods section 7c talks about the routes by which alone goods or any class of goods specified in the notification may pass by land or inland water into or out of india or to or from any land custom station from or to any land frontier section 7d talks about the ports which alone shall be coastal ports for the carrying on of trade in coastal goods or any class of such goods with all or any specified ports in india the post offices which alone shall be foreign post offices for the clearance of imported goods or export goods or any class of such goods and section 7f talks about the places which alone shall be international courier terminals for the clearance of imported goods or export goods or any class of such goods what one sees here is they talk about the ports they talk about the airports they talk about the inland container freight stations they talk about the air freight stations they talk about land custom stations they talk about the routes they talk about the coastal ports they talk about the post offices and they talk about the international courier terminals the next sub section of section 7 further reads as every notification issued under this section and in force immediately before the commencement of the finance act 2003 shall be deemed to have been issued under the provisions of this section as amended 
and shall continue to have the same force and effect after such commencement until it is amended rescinded or superseded under the provisions of this section so this tells you that while this change came in 2003 and post 2003 it covered every action taken by the government before 2003 section 8 of chapter 2 talks about power to approve landing places and specify limits of customs area the principal commissioner or commissioner so the proper officer in section 7 was the board the proper officer in section 8 is the principal commissioner or the commissioner of customs may approve places in any ex customs port or customs airport or coastal port for loading and unloading of goods or for any class of goods and he may also specify the limits of any custom area so section 8 talks about power to approve landing places and specify the limits of a custom area proper officer principal commissioner or commissioner of customs section 9 has been rescinded in 2016 and this has moved to licensing under section 57 58 and 58a section 10 of the customs act talks about appointment of boarding stations please understand the wordings very carefully at times they use the word appointment at times they use the word approval so please understand the gaps over here please also understand who is the proper officer so section 10 talks about appointment of boarding stations and it reads as the principal commissioner or commissioner of customs so your proper officer in section 10 becomes the principal commissioner or commissioner of customs may by notification in the official gazette appoint in or near any customs port a boarding station for the purposes of boarding of or disembarkation from vessels by officers of customs please understand this clause very carefully this talks about appointment of a boarding station the proper officer would be the principal commissioner or commissioner of customs and it uses the word in or near then it talks for boarding or disembarkation and it talks about by officers of customs so it's a very restricted section and one must understand these gaps very carefully so chapter 3 of the customs act covers four sections section 9 is presently rescinded section 7 reads as appointment of custom ports airports etc section 8 talks about power to approve landing places and specify limits of custom area and section 10 talks about appointment of boarding stations for detailed learning of all logistics subjects visit www.logivader.com